In this video, 618 Lena takes you on a journey to New Pogue Road in Edwardsville, Illinois. New Pogue Road is also known as Highway 69. And for your audio entertainment, a reading from Nikola Tesla. As before stated, the force which retards the onward movement of man is partially frictional and partly negative. To illustrate this distinction I name, for example, ignorance, stupidity, and imbecility as some of the purely frictional forces, or resistances devoid of any directive tendency. On the other hand, visionariness, insanity, self-destructive tendency, religious fanaticism, and the like are all forces of a negative character, acting in definite directions. To reduce or entirely overcome these dissimilar retarding forces, radically different methods must be employed. One knows, for instance, what a fanatic may do, and can take preventative measures, can enlighten, convince, and possibly redirect him, turn his vice into virtue, but one does not know and can never know what a brute or an imbecile may do, and one must deal with him as with a mass, inert, without mind, let loose by the mad elements. A negative force always implies some quality, not infrequently a high one. Though badly directed, which it is possible to turn into good advantage, but a directionless, frictional force involves unavoidable loss. Evidently, then, the first and general answer to the above question is, turn all negative force in the right direction and reduce all frictional force. There can be no doubt that all the frictional resistances, the one that retards human movement most, is ignorance. Not without reason, said that man of wisdom, Buddha. Ignorance is the greatest evil in the world. The friction which results from ignorance, and which is greatly increased, owing to the numerous languages and nationalities, can be reduced only by the spread of knowledge, and by the unification of the heterogeneous elements of humanity. No effort could be better spent. But however ignorance may have retarded the onward movement of man in past times, it is certain that nowadays negative forces have become of greater importance. Among these, there is one of far greater moment than any other. It is called organized warfare. When we consider the millions of individuals, often the ablest in mind and body, the flower of humanity, who are compelled to a life of inactivity and unproductiveness, the immense sums of money daily required for the maintenance of armies and war apparatus representing ever so much of human energy, all the effort uselessly spent in the production of arms and implements of destruction, the loss of life, and the fostering of a barbarous spirit, we are appalled at the inestimable loss to mankind which the existence of these deplorable conditions must involve. What can we do to combat best this great evil? Yo, thanks for watching to the end. If you made it this far, please like and subscribe if you do like. Comment if you'd like to see more content. And if you'd like to see an upcoming recycling documentary or a documentary about my litter bin. Peace, love, and blessings. Y'all have a good one. Mikey D. Bass, out. <laughs>